and beautiful presentation of the idea of compassion but we didn't want to make it a religious based presentation or a political message either and I set off on my way researching and trying to find texts that spoke of compassion a human centric compassion so not a compassion that speaks of a compassionate God which was actually a lot more prevalent and easy to find I was looking for texts that really gave some sort of poetic idea of, of how humans should treat one another essentially um, and you know, I think I managed to track some really great texts that really sat on common ground, both linguistically and also philosophically. <laughs> I casually mentioned to the artistic director Peter Chorney from the Sydney Symphony that I'd been collaborating uh, with this guy Lior and it was a bit of an unusual thing, a sort of pop meets classical kind of thing. And initially we were thinking, you know, we'd have like a 10 minute piece that we might like to perform at a festival somewhere or, you know, so I was kind of selling it to him uh, under that guise and he said, oh no, we want a full length concert work. And, you know, I told the audience, whoa, how are we going to do 40 minutes? <laughs> yeah, we said, sure, yeah, of course we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was sending Nigel stuff, music, and, and you know, I just wasn't finding the thing, and Nigel kept coming, come, and he went, yeah, look, it's, it's, you know, it's good, but I just don't feel like it's got that thing, you know. And then he coined this beautiful phrase with it was a determined spirituality, you know. And I think that, for me, kind of really sums up this piece beautifully with really strive to create something that is, is well balanced musically so you know it's it covers a lot of ground emotionally you know the power of collaboration can be a, an immensely rewarding thing you know it's a piece that neither of us could ever have written on our own you're coming, you're coming, you're coming.